Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is one of the most requested video on the channel. So finally I'm implementing it and make recording this video for you. Okay. Okay. So before we start, I would request you make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, you will find tons of amazing hands on videos in real time on DevOps as well as on cloud DevOps. Now talking about today's video. So as you know, when we deploy any application to some Kubernetes cluster or some cloud cluster like EKS or EKS, we get some url to access the our application right in case of eks we get a load balancer based url you can see it is from amazon aws and using which we can access our application but in case of eks we get an external ip address using which we can access our application right but in real time neither we are going to use an uh, ip address neither we are going to use an url which is something like this right which is like this big so what we are supposed to do what we are supposed to do basically we are need we need to get a domain and make that as our default application access URL. For example, what I'm going to show you is how we can access the application over this kind of URL. This is a some domain that I just purchased and I have implemented it so that our uh, this domain is redirecting to this application. Okay, that's what I'm going to show you. And yeah, uh, make sure to watch it till end. Then only you won't be uh, getting any kind of issues. Okay. Also team, for those who are preparing for DevOps interviews, batch six is finally starting on 30th of July. Do not miss it. As of now, we are having just few seats left. Okay. So if you go now, you can get the, you can enroll yourself. As of now, we are having this discount. You can use the coupon code batch six and this course will come to a seven five five nine. Okay. Talking about this course, first of all, everything we are going to study from scratch, DevSecOps and cloud DevOps. And also the best part about this course is two things. First of all, I'm going to help you one to one dedicatedly to prepare your resume like what kind of projects are good to add, how to explain projects and everything, what kind of task even in, uh, to write in your resume, I'm going to help you along with the projects. Okay. Talking about the projects that we are going to implement within this course, 10 hands-on projects will be there. Let me explain. Like CRUD based Java full stack application, Node.js full stack application, portfolio website, virtual browser, multi-tier application, three multi-tier application we are going to have, one connecting to a database like PostgreSQL, one connecting to MongoDB, one connecting to mysql database okay then we are going to have a microservice based application and we are going to have then real world java application and .NET based application as well as python based application so all these applications we are going to implement hands-on this will give you a really good learning opportunity as well as if you are implementing these many kinds of applications different kind of application it will help you understand real time how things happen okay so this course is a kind of ultimate course. It has everything. And also you have a dedicated support from me. You will learn only real time how things happen in companies. And that will make sure you are completely ready for interviews. Okay. So if interested, make sure to check it out. Links will be in the description and enroll because uh, from 30th, it will be starting. And as of now, we have just few seats left. Okay. So now let's get started with the video implementation of today. So team, basically what we need to do now is this, uh, when we deploy any application over Kubernetes, so two options we have in order to access the application. One option is that we can access the application using load balancer URL, okay? Or we can access it using some IP address with some port, right? So that is not a very good practice. So what I suggest that instead of that, what we can do, we can set up some uh, domain and then we can map it to our uh, IP address or the load balancer URL so that we can access our application using the domain, okay? And that's what we are going to show you today. So, okay, so first of all, we need to set up a Kubernetes cluster so what I have done and this uh, files are already shared to you and telegram and yeah in Mo mega project it is already available okay if I open this uh, 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 yeah this one cluster right so you need to create for us Kuber uh, Kubernetes cluster so I have already copied the files here I can run the command here terraform plan first to see what is going to be created okay and let's uh, yeah total 17 resources are going to be created in which we are going to have cluster and node groups as well okay so now i can run the command terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto dash approve it's going to set up a uh, eks cluster okay and this might take 10 to 15 minutes so we just need to wait for it and once this is done then we can continue okay so team the cluster is created and after it is created you need to run one more command which is AWS EKS update cube config so that we should be able to access our Kubernetes cluster from here. Okay. So I can run this command. And it's yeah, this is done. 
and also make sure that you have kubectl installed on the machine okay i have already installed it so you can see it is available right now if i run the command as kubectl uh, get nodes and you can see that we are able to connect to uh, worker nodes of our eks cluster okay next step is that we want to deploy an application so for that i have taken this microservice application in the in the main branch i have kept the deployment service yaml file okay so what i can do i can copy this deployment service yaml file and then create this file on my local okay i can create a file as vi deployment dash service dot yaml okay and paste the contents that we have copied let me just check one more time yeah paste it and save this file okay once you have saved this next thing you need to do is basically apply this file kubectl apply hyphen f then deployment service yaml okay and you can see all the resources that were defined in our yaml file are created a deployment file and the service file okay and we can run the command as kubectl get all so here what we can see these are the services okay and these are the uh, deployments okay and these are replica sets okay here you can see a uh, few deployments are not yet ready so we need to wait for it okay let me run this command again kubectl get all and here two more uh, deployments are not ready so we need to wait for that okay now all the pods and every resource is uh, created okay now if you see the services cube, uh, if you run the command kubectl get service you will see that these are the services out of which two service are the entry point of the application the front end and front end external okay so these are the entry point that means if i want to access the application over my browser i need to follow this url okay or if i am going with uh, this front end node port then i need to get the uh, public ip address uh, sorry, I need to get the uh, node IP and then need to provide the uh, node port. Okay, but generally since we are use already since we are already using one second, let me run again. Yeah, since we are already using load balancer, so we can access our application using this. Okay, this URL. So I can copy that and I can paste it here. And let's wait for this to come up. See, since we just did a deployment, so yeah, for the first time it takes some time. Okay, now you can see application is running, but let's say that I want don't want that my application accessible over this URL. You can see this is long and it's not easy to remember, right? So what I want that I want my application should be accessible on my own domain, whichever domain I choose. Okay, so first of all you need to purchase a domain. So there are many websites from where you can purchase. I generally purchase my domains from GoDaddy. Okay, and I'll go here. Make sure you are logged in and here let's say I'll search for let's say Aditya testing. Okay. Click enter. And you can see it's kind of this uh, this one is kind of cheap. Okay. It's showing one but it will cost more. Okay. So this the domain uh, I can purchase and I can show you uh, the demo using that. Okay. I'll click on yeah. Now click on continue cart and let's wait for this and i'll just second let me remove this one yeah okay so i'm going to take it for just for one year okay and it should be a little less and i'll click click on i'm ready to pay and purchase okay so let me uh, pay for this is costing some amount actually okay let me purchase this okay so i have paid for it and let's wait for this to come into my uh domain okay and let's wait for this okay so this is done right i have purchased it now i'll go to my account so team we are on now my account page and here we have all the domains that we have purchased i'll click on this the one that i just purchased now right click on domain on the left side and click on manage dns so basically we need to make some configuration changes in dns okay 
now one very important thing let me explain you inside dns we have records okay you can say a record ns record c name like that right now what exactly these records are so these records basically what they do they map they map ip address to some domain name they will map one ip uh, one domain name to some other domain name for example this is also one domain right so what uh, record can help us do basically it can map this domain to some other domain that we want okay now what we can do so there are two of the most important record that we should be knowing about one is known as a record and second is known as c name record okay now when we should be using what so in case you have a load balancer url that means you are having already a domain and you want to convert this type of like url to some other domain which is like uh, your own website uh, your own url then we should be using c name okay in case here if it was showing like ip address and like external ip address where you can access your application then like ipv4 specifically so that ipv4 address should be in that case it should be a record should be used okay remember that so in our case since we have already a different domain from aws so we are going to use c name okay now the thing is ki c name is already present here on c name right so we can edit here because if i try to click on add new record let's say i'll select c name here we can just put www and here the uh, load balancer url which we have okay which is this one so i'll copy this paste it here okay and if i click try to save it it might give some error because one yeah you can see because one uh, c name is already present so what we are going to do instead of creating a new we can modify the existing one okay here we can just change to the uh, load balancer url okay rest of the things are fine click on save and now we have updated the dns record right this is updated as you can see it is updated now now thing is ki this update that we just did it uh, in order to take it take effect of the changes that we have just done it may either happen within an hour or it may take uh, like maybe 40 48 hours in uh, also okay but how we can test it so what we can do immediately our domain is this one right so what we can do we can run a command as ns lookup www dot our domain right click enter okay now the thing is ki it is not yet mapped okay as i said it may take some time for team it's been few minutes okay and now if i test it again ns lookup and www dot our data testing dot in we can see that now it is pointing to this url right which is the load balancer url that means ki if i put this in the browser we should be able to see our website let's see and yes now you can see this website is available on this url www.aditatesting.in one thing you might be able to notice that this is http this is not secure right that means if i copy this and paste it somewhere we should be able to see you can see http okay next step would be to add certification but uh, basically to make it secure so that we can see https url right that will uh, I'll, i'll be also making a video on that as well okay so yeah for now follow this if you want to like uh, uh, convert this ip address or your uh, load balancer url you can use this method okay so yeah that will be all and uh, thanks for watching